guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Inside Out. Last time we were working on the living room and we're going to pick up where we left off. So the first thing I want to do is start working with these windows, kind of like I was messing with this wall uh, last episode. And to do this, what I think I'm going to do is run just glass right here. I think probably, let's see how white glass looks, but I don't think the connected texture is going to work. Uh, with the way that this goes. I don't know if it's going to actually be enough. No, connected textures won't work. So I think we're going to want something full anyway. I think ice will probably be a good material to use for this since it's really clear and it does a great job with windows. So I think what we'll do is keep it like this. Hopefully the light from underneath will not mess with the ice melting. If it does, we'll have to reconsider the depth of the actual window. But the windows are going to be rel relatively high, and I'm actually going to separate them. Um, I guess on segments of three. So right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't do that. It'll have to be one more out. So let's go ahead and go one more out here. We'll just stretch this all out by one, and we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I am. I just started recording this a little while ago in the first episode, even though it's different in days, was uh, just a while ago for me, so it's still relatively fresh in my head what I want to do. Hopefully the last episode was a good length for you guys. Still have a little bit of background noise, so I apologize for anything that you may hear. I'm having to record with the door open for a change because uh, I'm kind of doing work out of my house now, so if anybody knocks at the door for some work, um, I can just answer it and go from there. So hopefully I won't have to make too many cuts. So here we have the seven, that's good. Now we can go up the middle with the white clay, like we segment the windows a little bit. And that's perfect. I think I want to do the same thing right here. This is going to be three, so we'll come up right there actually. And it doesn't look like the ice is going to be melting due to the light, so that's a good thing. I'll go ahead and finish up the ice here. And there we go. So now we have our window set. So we'll definitely need to do something with the top, but I'm not right quite, a, quite ready to put a ceiling on it yet. So let's just stretch out these floors a little bit, just to even it up. And we'll actually be extending this on both ways. I think for the beginning, it's kind of going to be an L shape because I had talked about last time going out that way with the kitchen. And I think I'm going to do the same way instead of like a hallway like I was thinking of last time. It'll be just more like a pathway. And what we'll do behind here is probably the kitchen segment. Well, no, we'll do the kitchen segment still here. Uh, here just may be a stretch around with a couple bedrooms. And we'll go out this way some more for some actual bedroom as well. So hopefully it'll just kind of interconnect and we'll be able to keep an open floor plan. So this looks good so far. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's play around with a little fireplace design. I want to do something a little bit more modern and I want to keep the colors that we're currently using intact. So let's do black. So as you know, fireplaces can burn wood and fire tick is on. So I've got to do this a little delicately. What we'll do is we'll start off by going with, uh, let's see. Let's go with, is four going to be enough? Yeah, but the proximity is not quite correct. I think that should be fine. Okay, so we should be able to go uh, here. We should be able to do, actually, let's go with the gray that we had over here. That way, it's going to look a little bit different. That's good, and hopefully, this will be enough. We'll see. If it starts burning, well, I'll just have to put out a fire. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. That way you guys can kind of follow along with the build, and if you decide to do it, you can. Uh, let's go with some netherrack. And we'll put the netherrack right back here. I believe that should be good. And then we'll come along with the black right here, and we'll... I guess one up will be fine. We'll actually keep this open, I believe. And perfect, that should be good. Let's just close in the sides right here. And let's try burning it. Let's see what happens. Flint, and if it starts burning well, we'll know what we have to do. Uh, let me get a water bucket ready. <laughs> 
a little survival aspect for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and light this. And it doesn't look like it's going to burn, hopefully. So cool, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, we do have the black top. I guess what I'll do is go ahead and seal this in, even though it's not practical. And we wanna do a modern style chimney. So what we can do is stretch up should we stretch up the black or stretch up the white? Maybe we'll stretch up the black and see how that looks. It'll allow for some cool shape on the outside as well. We'll just go up that high for now. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Um, I wonder if fire burns plants at all. Let's put a plant right quick just to test it. We'll do a potted plant. I don't think these are flammable, but I can't really be certain. And let's see, we have the potted plant that's good. What are we going to put up here? We could put a white tulip. I think that would be a gorgeous little flower to put right here. So we'll go ahead and do bam, bam. All right, white flower, done. Okay, and you still get a little bit of the particle effects coming out of there. So it's good. It's ambient. I like it. All right, so we should be good right here. Um, we're actually going to have to stretch this grate all the way out to make sure that the flame is not close enough to any wood flooring that will keep us nice and safe. All right, so we should be good with that. I might have to do some sort of um, inset in the floor right here to make it bigger. But I don't think that the half slabs will survive if it's any closer than this. We can actually try to see what will happen. But I'm pretty sure that that leaves us subject to the flame. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. We'll think of something else. We'll put quartz or something right there to make it even with the floor. Let me just think on it a bit. Let's focus on another area of the room now. Um, now that we got the fireplace, we have a nice TV and entertainment center. And we have the wall. Let's do a feature on this little pillar here. I think I want to use quartz and quartz will quartz stairs. Let's do quartz stairs and I want to do a little sugar cane deal. So let's do sugar cane. Oh, there we go. Sugar cane. And we already have the water. That's good. Um, let's see. We'll need sand as well. So yeah, sand and I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead. Did I replace this quartz stairs? I sure did. Quartz, we don't need the flint anymore. Let's do, let's do something like this. We'll do quartz, just like this. That way it's like a little, little cubby here. Actually, we can do this, this. Oh yeah, it joins up, makes a nice little box. Okay, so here we can actually do sand. And I want to say we can do water back here, and it should keep the sugar cane from dying. That should be good. And right here we'll do, I guess, just white stained clay for now. And let's stack these up. Four should be good. Yeah, it's even sided like that. I like that. And in the middle, we can do something. Should we come up by one, come up by two? Um, how about a quartz stair like that? No, how about a quartz stair like that? And we could do a quartz stair. And yeah, that's actually a cool effect. Let's do another potted plant here and do a fern. Oh, a small fern. There we go. That's a nice little plant feature for the wall. Perfect. I almost think that it should be water to go along with it, but I guess we'll keep it for now. That's good. Okay, so the living room is fleshing out really nice. I don't want to do too much to the entertainment center yet until I come up with a full color scheme. So we'll play around with that idea in a bit, except I might want to take some wood. Well, birch. Let's see. If we ran with the birch slabs up here, that would leave a little more accent to it. Yeah, I kind of like that. And we still have it at the top. So we still keep in kind of the stripe design and the symmetry to it, but it does add a little bit of detail to it. I like that. Okay, so now I guess we need to kind of start stretching the floor out to the area over here to start forming the hallway. 
Um, see what I mean? This area, if we would have dimensioned this room perfectly beforehand, <laughs> we wouldn't have really have known how far things would be space-wise. So it really helps to do the rooms inside out for me. So let's go ahead and that's the series name. I thought the end, the the series name was pretty good. I actually searched it on YouTube before I titled the first video, and it was a little weird because they do have a couple of things that come up when you search Minecraft inside out. Most of them, most of them are really obnoxious. <laughs> some screamers, some people that are just doing um, comic things. So nothing real serious. So hopefully this series stands out a little bit as far as search goes. I'm kind of liking the way this goes. Okay, so we need to stretch this out considerably. Let's go ahead and mark out that. Ooh, a little bit of lag there and a huge truck in the background. Pardon me, guys. Um, let's see. And we'll go, let's see about right here. I don't know if this will be the right dimensions or not, but uh, it'll be close enough to start with. At least we can always take some away or add to it if we need to. Let's go ahead and go set, five, two. Oh, two slashes for world edit. Set five colon two. Perfect. No, not this. We don't want that. I thought, oh, it's 126.2. My bad. 126.2. Cool. It would help if I had like any eye to be able to see the item IDs, but actually, this is okay for now. All right. So it's going to definitely be open from here. And behind this section, we can have. I guess what will happen is the house will actually stretch in this direction. We'll have the walls that are going uh, all the way down. Hmm, let's see. If we want the walls to stretch, let's see the wall right there goes this way. I guess we can bring the wall back around. Yeah, this is going to be solid right here. I'm thinking thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking the house layout is baffling me now because I know I want the kitchen on this side actually you know what let's figure out the kitchen design and then we can kind of know where we're gonna go out with the walls so behind this fireplace we're going to but well, actually behind this couch we're going to have the kitchen area and the kitchen area let's see we can actually do what we were doing before by stretching the design out a little bit we'll go ahead and start here just in case and we'll move out to I don't know here let's do that and we'll second that and then we'll stretch our floor out again just like we did before cool now we're working with a little bit of space this is good all right so for the kitchen layout I think I want to start a bar like a snack bar type deal and this is gonna be a little bit away uh, we'll do I think we'll go with the black again, but only for the countertop space. So what we'll have to do is actually change out a little bit of this to birch. Do we want to keep it identical? No, we want to keep it a little bit different. So let's go ahead and place birch down here and we can do iron bars. Let's do iron bars. This will be for the seating. So the iron bars will come up like this, and we can cut these two out. That way we have three seats. We'll do a second one high, because this will be a higher snack bar. And we can do pressure plates. Let's do pressure plates. We can go with the weighted pressure plates for a little bit more of an industrial look, I believe. Oh no, I can't place these on there. Hmm. That's something that I did not consider. We can do wool carpeting, but that doesn't really do for chair backs. So I suppose I could world edit these things in, although the item frames may mess these up. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Can we put a regular pressure plate on top of there? Or even a wooden pressure plate? I don't think we can. I don't think it will go on top of the iron bars. No, it sure won't. That's weird that it goes on top of fence, but it won't go on top of iron bars like that. Um, hmm. I guess I can go with... The red won't really match for nether brick fence, so regular fence will have to do, I suppose. Let's just do fence. Oh, well, we can't win everything, but it would have been neat with the iron bars, I think. Okay, let's do two. Two. Now we should be able to place our weighted pressure plates on top. 
just like so. Very good. And we can also go with the hmm, item frames. Yeah, let's do item frames. We use item frames on the back of these, which we'll should just stick to it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. They make real, real minimalistic seat designs. Now we'll do the fence on the back to act as brackets. And on top of here, I really can't do any, what I can do is play with black wool a little bit, black carpeting actually. And let's see what kind of setup this makes it look like. We can, no, nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanna do, I wanna do that. Go ahead and surround it just like so. I think this will make for a neat little seating area. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know if we shouldn't go with black wool down here to make it look uniform. Although, let's see. Actually, let's go with black stained clay. And let's play around with this idea a little bit. this and we're still going to put black on the bottom and down here we'll do the black as well actually I think the wool would work better as a texture right there black wool that way it will conform a little bit with the carpet that is going to be next to it well it's, it is a different texture but at least it's going to show the fact that it is close to the carpet and I think we'll just have to take that look so let's go ahead and place the carpet on the corners here just to keep it like we did good good okay so that's our little seating area and I want to say that the rest of these should be black as well with the carpet on top that way it shows it's sealed okay yeah we can actually do the whole thing like that. See guys, it's just playing around with designs until it actually makes sense to you and what you actually like in the build. This is pretty much how I do all my builds actually. I just kind of go with it. It'd be cool if we had like the modded covers for the seats and stuff, you know, from the all the mod packs. Oh, I forgot one. Let's do it on this side as well. Okay, so cool. We got our seating area together. Now we're going to need to make a, a little snack bar, I suppose. So from here, we want to do, this is going to have to most definitely be quartz. So let's go quartz in order to be able to use half slabs and all that good stuff. Let's use quartz, regular blocks of quartz, half slabs of quartz, stairs of quartz, and think that ought to be good. So for the snack bar, I guess we'll come up like so. Right here and right here. We'll come up again. In the middle we can join these. And we'll place slabs just like this. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now we can actually come out with slabs like so and this is on the top level I mean on the bottom level of the slab so we can't really do oh we can let's try stairs here and here here and here yeah that's a pretty good looking snack bar it is a little large I thought that it would be a little bit easier if I went with two wide design like this, but maybe we can just go one. Let's actually see how this works. So instead of this, what we could do is this, and this will make it stand up like so. It's probably not bad. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's do that. Okay. So these stair designs will have to... If I want that same effect, I'm going to have to do that, yeah. And is that good? I mean, did that come out alright? Yeah, it sure did. Okay. So, 
Should we come out with another slab just like so? No, that is a little bit too close, I believe. Although, it doesn't look too bad when I do it like this. I wonder if carpet would be better. No, actually that works out really well. I like that. So, yeah, it'll work out nice. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't replace these just like that. That way it's a little bit more of a true counter design. Yeah, and that's totally different. I almost, I kind of like that even better. Let's go ahead and finish up the carpet here. And hmm, I'm always dissatisfied with the way stuff comes out and I start changing it. And then I get into all sorts of mess. Let's change it just like that and see that way. Oh, nope, I'll still have to, I'm still gonna have black that shows either way. No way around that. So I'm guessing that full blocks would probably make it better so that there's uniformity in the texture in the blacks here and here. Yep, I think that actually works out pretty well. And then it just goes to, yeah, that works out. That's a good little snack bar. I like that. So the rest of the kitchen naturally is going to be white as well. And we're going to kind of transition to um, a white flooring for the kitchen. So instead of the half slabs, we'll be using the full slabs and I'm going to be using quartz. And I think I'm gonna use chiseled quartz because in this texture pack, it has a really nice tiled effect. So let's go ahead and let's see. We want, I really don't know the item IDs for these and I don't really wanna look them up right now. So, that's probably good. Actually, we don't want it that wide. I think that'll be good. Let's go ahead and three is gonna be good as well. It will stretch past a little bit. Yep, that's good. Okay. I'll just fill this in. I looked at the item ID, so we can just change these out real quick. Edit right quick. Set 155. One. And oh. Wet. Not wet. Set. <laughs> wet 155. One. Water everywhere. Okay. So another good thing about having this floor on this level is that when we start placing the bedrooms, the floor will even up with a regular floor so that we can use regular wool blocks and stained clay and stuff like that uh, for the colors in the rooms and stuff. So it should work out well. And I'm kind of out of time to start anything else on the kitchen, but I think we've made some progress. It's not a whole, whole lot, but it is definitely starting to come together. And being that it's my first layout kind of like this, it's really hard joining up rooms and keeping the same color palettes and stuff like that. But Hope you guys are getting something out of it. I'm having fun. So I guess <laughs> we can work together on um, enjoying it together. So thanks again so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.